if you head over to the JSON API specification and uh, take a look at the format of a single single object, you will see that it tells you that hold, to hold the information about the data of the object inside of the data key, and then you will have um, an, I an ID for the resource and an ID for the entity, and then you will have attributes and relationships. This is what we call fields in Drupal. And uh, in general, and this uh, may not only be entity references, but this is typically entity reference fields, relationships. This is how we relate from one resource to another resource. And since JSON API is based on entity types and bundles, a perfect way to relate from one resource to another is to read from the enti sorry for the yes entity reference fields. So you have the attributes key that will hold the all the data fields and the relationship keys that will hold all the references to other resources. So every relationship will contain the name of the relationship, some links, and then in the data key, it will have the type and ID of the relationship that, or the, of the entity that you're pointing to. So in our example, that means that if we scroll and we collapse the attributes, we'll see that we have the relationships. And now let me show you how the, the author in here, the author of the article is a relationship using the UID field and it points to the user, user, so the entity type user and the bundle user. And this is the, U, the UUID. So uh, it automatically reads the entity reference fields and puts them in the relationships. So that's how uh, the JSON API will output the relationships from um, uh, an entity to another entity. Now bear in mind that this is true for content entities as for user entity references and for config entities like the entity type itself. Uh, you will see that it's a reference to the configuration entity, node type, node type, and this is the, uh, the UID. So if I copy this into, uh, let me do this example. So I'm going to copy this UUID here in here. And then I'm going to change this for node type, node type, and uh, the same format API JSON. And then I will get the response for this particular entity, which is a configuration entity that contains all the information about a node type, uh, meaning that you get the status, that you get the, the name and the machine name and the description. So you can traverse all of the data inside of your Drupal using the JSON API module. And this is how we got here. We got here thanks to the relationship in a single article. And next, um, I'm gonna, you're probably thinking on how did we get this UUID to start with? So I'm gonna answer that question in the next video.